Hey guys! So today is Saturday and I thought it would be kind of a cool to vlog. I mean when I'm off I just like to pick up the camera. So yeah this is basically going to be one. Um, I just got some things from Sephora and I don't know if you saw my what I got for Christmas. Those things. Plus I also picked out a few stuff from Sarah. So I thought it would be, I don't know, kind of cool to do like a mini haul. Um, but I'm not just dressed up for that. I mean we're going out to eat. Probably to have a bit of brunch because I'm craving sweet potato fries and I think he is craving French toast. So yes, we're thinking about food. We get that kind of a couple. Um, so I don't know. I want to just very quickly show you what I got and then just I don't know. Follow me through the rest of the day. So let me see it up right so I can show you what I got. Okay, so what I got from Sephora was from the Ordinary Skincare. Um, I got two of their serums. I got the hyaluronic acid one and then the other one is the granite tip retinol. Um, I already tried the hyaluronic acid and I like it. They're a bit sticky but once I think you put them under your skin they feel great. Um, I think this one is more meant to use by day and then this one more by night so that's exactly what I'm doing. So yes, got these two and I think Sephora, I mean I'm waiting on Sephora to start uh, putting their makeup. I don't know if makeup was available i just checked out their skincare and if it is i want to check out their foundation which is i know they have like a full coverage one and light one so yes i think that's the second thing that i want to pick up but yes i really want to try Ella from the ordinary and then the other thing that i got was some fenty beauty lipsticks um this is obviously the Rihanna brand and these ones are the newest ones. These ones are the Mademoiselle. Um, I got two shades. One is, this one is single, which is like this gorgeous, merry, peachy brown nude. And the other one that I got was, I think it's Stack. And it's like this more pinky, very bold one. Um, I don't know if you guys can see clearly, but it has the F and the B of Fenty Beauty, which I thought it was kind of a cool like what Tom Ford does as well um, but yes I love the packaging to be completely honest I already swatched single I haven't swatched stack yet um, but I mean the packaging is killer but to be honest I mean these ones are I think they were $18 and I feel like there isn't that much of a lipstick I don't know if it is me either way um, I'm not gonna put them on right now because I'm thinking of doing like a tutorial look a makeup tutorial like a party style and I think I want to use these two lipsticks on the video so yes I think I'm gonna leave that for later and then oh I also got a liner from MAC which is the one that I'm wearing this one is nice and spicy and I love these types of pencils like I'm all about lip pencils I don't know I'm feeling like really lip pencil lips and cat eye I don't know I feel like that's the vibe that I'm right now having with makeup so yes I got also this one from MAC so then we'll see and then from Sara okay, the first thing that I got was this blazer if you saw my Instagram story I think you might might already saw it um I had my eye on this one forever but it was almost like $80 and I knew how Sarah works and I was going to be patient and wait for it to hit sale so I can buy it. And that's exactly what I did. So you know how much it cost me? $30. I feel like patience is a virtue for sure. And I think I'm starting to learn from it. So I love the blazer because it's like a mist check. Like it has some gray, dark gray and light gray. And I love, I pick up eight I think. And I wish it was longer, but to be honest, um, I love how it looks. And you know what I did? This thing has shoulder pads. I hate shoulder pads. Like, I can never get into that trend. So I actually removed them and put them on, and now I love it. So, yes. So I got myself this one. And I can just put it on top of... I have so many white t-shirts. I feel like that's the way that I want to wear them. And then I also got some sneakers. And I think this is like the most fun... I think this has never happened to me before. But yeah. I pick up these styles. These ones... Um, I mean, come on. They're like... Couldn't be more Gucci ripoff, right? But I don't know. I bought some white ones a way back. They had the flowers. And I love how comfortable they were. So when I saw these ones... I love the studs first thing first, a little animal print. And this one has like a mixed material. Like here is more of a sneaker and then here is like a leather. The white ones that I bought are full leather. I think that's why I didn't like them as much. So I got this ones. And to be honest, I love how they look. But 
I stupidly enough pick up two different sizes. Like this one is 36 and this one is 39. I'm 39. Um, so I don't know who is stupid, like me or the girl who actually took them to scan them and remove the little thing that they have. So I don't know, like I don't know where my head is, but yes, now I have to go back to Sarah to get the right size. But yes, I think these ones were 60 and were reduced to 40 which is good and then the other stuff now with this one i'm kind of thinking it i'm not sure if i'm going to keep it i think i'm gonna exchange it i saw this top like this style and i think it was white i mean i do this all the time i buy things on so many different uh, colors but when i like a top i do and i don't think it's the same as this one but it's almost the same vibe so I got this one which has like that pyjama look and it also has, it's, I think it's like a pyjama top and a blazer mixed together because it has like these buttons right here. Now when I saw the color I fell in love with it and I love these drapey tops especially because I do like pyjama style ones but for some reason I tried it on and I didn't like that much the fit. And second of all it's really low cut so I had to put always like a really like pretty bra underneath oh, and they're always are the most uncomfortable ones but i don't know i just i didn't love it so i think i'm gonna return it and exchange it from the one that i told you and yes this one was 40 and was reduced to 22. do you remember my come shopping with me i did order a pair of levi's jeans um those levi's i received them like almost like three weeks ago i picked up 26 that was two uh they were too fit on the waist and i sent them back and they finally they got here 27 because i think they were out of stock so here they are so i'm gonna put them on hope to god that this one fits because the other ones were they fit all right but they were too tight on the waist now this ones are 27 which is supposed to be my size and i didn't read that it, they run small so i'm gonna put them on so you guys can see how finally they look oh plus also i have to give a shout out to my mom i love her she actually just got me some gold um silverware because i always wanted um some gold one because i always see them on pinterest so she actually gave them to me and i'm so happy so thanks mom so let me put this one so on So they fit well on the waist, but below, they're kind of big. I mean, they're different. I like them, but these ones are 27. But they seem comfortable and they're like a really thick denim. And I have to roll them because they're really long. I think I'll keep them. Good morning. So today is Sunday and I woke up really early. I think it was like 5 o'clock. I mean, my husband works really early on Sundays. And it's almost 8. I think I want to do exercise first thing in the morning because I really want to get back to my routine. I mean, I know that that's like everyone's resolution, but I used to work out every day. But I think like a month before the hurricane, I just stopped. And then um, I'm also a vegetarian, so I didn't eat as healthy um, as I should have uh these past few months. I mean, because of the situation. So, of course, like I want to get back on back on track on everything so i don't know i missed it plus i feel like you 
I don't I don't think it is I mean it is a fact that if you work out and eat healthy you feel better so I want to start obviously uh, getting more fit and I actually like to work out from home I mean I know there's some of you who might love gyms I used to be on a gym um, but to be completely honest I just I always get bored afterwards and I hate just waiting on machines and things like that so I prefer to do it by home and because there's so many apps or so many YouTube videos I feel like you can basically do everything from home plus if I get bored I just go out maybe walk a bit and I don't know I feel like you get bored if you want to and I think afterwards I'm gonna cook myself some lunch so yes I'm gonna work out right now and then I'll see you when I'm eating probably okay so lunch is done um, basically what I cook is a veggie patty this is soy this is not chicken it's from a brand called Boca I buy it all the time I just cook it on a frying pan with some butter garlic salt and that's it so good then I put some brown rice with some quinoa I have some red and white quinoa uh, peppers peas taste really good and then basically like a whole head of lettuce I just always like to make my veggie uh, part of my plate the bigger the ratio so it has some balsamic vinegar sea salt and olive oil and that's it so this is basically lunch so let's eat okay so we're back now definitely more fresher I mean I definitely got a shower put some makeup on and brush the hair so Actually, we're getting ready because we're going out. Actually, I'm going to visit my family, especially my niece, because her presents are right there in the back. I mean, this weekend was the Day of the Kings. It's a tradition that we celebrate here. It's basically a second Christmas. I know that it's celebrated in a lot of parts of the world, so yes, she's desperate to see her presents. And I think we're also going to Ikea. <clears throat> because i need to buy some curtains for the bedroom and i also want to check out any other stuff for the home um so yes i think that's basically is what i'm going to do today but i also am thinking of doing a haircut because i recently colored my hair like my hair it is in this black but i don't know why i think it got a little bit dry out and in a way like i am i don't use utensils i basically do a braid then slip with it and then just loose it out put a little bit of texturizing spray and that's it but for some reason it's not working and i think it's because i feel like it needs a haircut <clears throat> i want my hair really long like i used to um so i'm afraid that every time you go to the hairdresser you ask them for a bit and they cut a lot so i'm casting my figure that they don't um i don't know if you guys would like to see it probably <clears throat> I'll vlog it. I'm sorry. I ate some nuts and I feel like my throat is a little bit dry. Um, but yes. So other thing. Oh, my arm is getting tired. Um, I'm thinking of vlogging something. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I might give a little glimpse about it. Um, I think soon, maybe this Saturday. I'm not sure yet, um, but I think I'm going to hit the splurge this time like major. Um, and it's going to be on a bag now um, I don't want to say when or what bag because I'm not sure yet I mean it's going to be this month because this month is my birthday and I don't know it's, I feel like it's the perfect time to give myself a gift I mean I feel like if you work hard um, you should deserve to get anything that you want and that's exactly what I'm going to do I like to love myself and yes I like to split myself with anything that I want and yes I think I definitely deserve it so hashtag treat myself um, but I still don't know when because I was going to buy it online but to be honest I prefer to go to the store just to make sure that I'm making the right decision because it's a lot of money and second of all I just like the experience as well I mean I did it with my Louis Vuitton bag and I love the experience so I feel like I will definitely this time I will definitely vlog this and um, but we'll see I'll tell you guys when that happens i mean you're probably gonna see it on my instagram like always but yes i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna put that montage with music and everything that i'm doing and then obviously i have to come back to finish this vlog so before i go i wanted to do like a little bit outfit of the day so i'm wearing um the sweater as well as the inside button top is from sarah i think if you saw like my earliest haul i show this sweater it's the one that has the gold buttons and it's a little bit chilly so i wanted to wear both and then i'm wearing my urban outfitters bd jeans which are so comfortable they're the ones which are ripped on the knee and then for shoes yet again i'm wearing my eagle chesca loafers they're so comfortable i just like to wear those shoes on an everyday basis and also i'm thinking of filming like Oh, what i wore in a week so let me know if you guys want to see it um but yes this is the whole outfit obviously i'm just missing my bag and that's it
so I almost forgot to end this vlog but yes this was pretty much it guys um, I know that right now I look like I have 10 pounds of makeup and it's because I'm taking some photos and I'm thinking of recreating this look on my YouTube channel like doing it with a voiceover um, because I want to do like a main video a week and then the other week a vlog so I feel like it's basically what you guys are going to see but yeah so this is all so I'll see you next week with a brand new video thanks for watching bye